What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I want to welcome you guys if this is your first time here. If it is, my name is Araceli and this is Araceli Chan DIY. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some spring ideas. So I have a total of 20 DIYs that I'm going to be sharing with you. And these are DIYs that I've made throughout my channel. Not necessarily for spring, but I thought would fit perfectly for your spring decor. Most of the stuff that I use is Dollar Tree, but I always like using other stuff um, outside of Dollar Tree, whether it's stuff from like Goodwill that I can upcycle, stuff that I have laying around in my house, or stuff that I purchased from Amazon. So I'll definitely let you guys know what is what in each DIY. Before I get into the first DIY though, I do want to invite you to become part of the DIY family. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel and then hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. All right, let's go ahead and get on to the first spring idea. So this is an oldie but goodie and it's really, really simple to make. So I'm actually going to make a set. I'm using two of those silver Dollar Tree trays and then these little planters do come in a set also from Dollar Tree. What I'm going to do is take my hot tool and just go ahead and melt it like halfway through. So I'm going to make two of them and you guys can try to cut them with scissors. I think this is what worked best for me. After they're cut or after they're melted down, I am going to try to melt down any more of the excess plastic because it does harden and it does get sharp. And then on the trays, I'm just taking some acrylic paint. This is before I started getting big onto using house paint. Um, so just using a paper towel, just tapping it on there. And then I am going to be using some acrylic paint. I think this is... Um, I don't know if it's apple, apple barrel. I'm not sure. I think it's just the craft smart paint. It's in like aqua and just painted the pot and then to tap onto my trays I mixed a little bit of the aqua with some chalkboard paint just to give it a little more um, color or like dimension into my trays. After everything's dried I'm just going to glue my pots onto the tray and then add a little bit of moss and greenery and that is it. So a lot of these ideas that I'm sharing with you are going to be perfect for you to decorate your outdoor space. Now for this one, I took um, both the Dollar Tree tray and then also the Dollar Tree basket. As you guys can see there, I kind of aligned the basket to the tray and marked my spot. And just using my hot tool, just melted that away. That's where I'm going to use my Dollar Tree planter chain. And then I just added a little bit of acrylic paint to this. Um, again, the acrylic paint I don't typically use anymore because it's so thin. I have to do a lots of layers so I would actually just use either spray paint or um, house paint but in this case I use the acrylic paint just tapped it right on there and you guys can see I did the solid on the middle of the tray but then decided to tap it on there because I like the texture a lot more and then I just used my pen to kind of trace that around and then using one of these Dollar Tree decals I just put that on there I thought it was perfect because it does say love grows here and then of course you add your greenery or flowers and and it matches perfectly with the saying and right here on the chain I just went ahead and bent it so it looks like a little hook it's gonna hook right onto the end of that tray and then I'm gonna attach a sawtooth hanger on the back with both e6000 glue and hot glue so that it doesn't rip off when it's hanging on the wall and then I am atta attaching the chain to the basket and adding some florals these are not Dollar Tree florals but you guys can use whatever you like and I think it looks beautiful Okay, so here's one that's very simple, but again, something that I think would look great if you decorate your outdoor space, which I did, and that's how I used it. Now, I'm just using some wooden blocks from Dollar Tree and creating a frame, and then I'm actually using this gutter guard <laughs> that I purchased at Habitat for Humanity, I think it was. Um, you guys could always use like the Dollar Tree baskets and just cut it to size. So I just glued all of my um, wooden blocks together. You can stain them or paint them. I just decided to leave them as is cut my gutter guard to the size and just glued it to the back. You can also staple it, that way it doesn't fall apart. And with some twine, it just added some little Dollar Tree greenery bundles and that is it.
This is one that I actually had hanging on my dining room wall for a while and I'm actually just using some extra laminate flooring that I had from when we redid our floors. Um, laminate flooring is not very expensive depending on what you get so you could probably get one of these boards that could make multiple of these for about a dollar or two dollars. All I did was just cut it to size. Actually it was already cut to size. I just sanded it down and then I used one of these Dollar Tree hanging things that I spray painted it black and then a Dollar Tree vase. Um, actually what is this? A bottle, I don't know, from Dollar Tree and spray painted it with some matte spray paint. And anytime I use spray paint, I always try to do like a matte. I don't like the glossy finish at all. And I just screwed that in there. And on my um, bottle or into the bottle, I just added some Dollar Tree greenery and added a beaded garland also that I created from Dollar Tree stuff. By the way, you guys, I am feeling under the weather, so if you guys hear me being a little monotone or you can hear the stuffiness in my uh, voice, that is why I'm not feeling very well, but here we are. So for this next one, I'm using a watering can from Dollar Tree that I spray painted white. And by the way, you can find most of my craft supplies and tools in my Amazon storefront that's linked down below. I also have these wooden letters. I don't remember exactly where they're from, but I'm sure you can find some at Walmart. And then to create my stain, I just added some acrylic paint from Dollar Tree in deep brown added a little bit of water, just added it with a paintbrush onto my letters and tapped it um, with a rag. You guys can see there I started with the word blessed, but it was, it was way too long, so I changed it to home. And to hang it, I just hot glued a thumbtack to the back of the can with a little bit of um, wire and just made sure to snap off that tip of the thumbtack. And I actually just crumpled up a paper bag, added some rope around it, and added my greenery, and that is it. So this really cute tabletop topiary I made with a Dollar Tree um, wooden round and then I added small beads with a wire around the bottom of the larger beads that I put in here with a dowel. Actually no this is not a dowel this is a skewer from Dollar Tree but you can use a dowel as well and then I also have this floral um, ball that I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue right to the top of the skewer and I'm gonna use some spray adhesive which smells really bad <laughs> and it gets really sticky on your fingers um so that's just how i'm going to put my first layer but after that i will be using my hot glue to add more moss onto the ball so by the way i did actually drill a hole into the wooden round and i put the skewer in there with hot glue so that it doesn't topple over and i also found it a lot easier to just cut up the moss like very fine and that way it goes on easier and it's not like super big chunks that you're gluing onto your ball Okay, so for this one, I'm doing all Dollar Tree frames. I'm reusing this faux window that I made, and I'm just removing all of the glue that's on there. And, of course, I'm going to be using my home paint. And, again, I like using the bare paint in flat white, and you can find that at Home Depot. Um, this frame was a little weird when I painted it. It kind of turned a watery, even the thick paint. So I would suggest sanding it down before you start painting. Um, other than that, that's the only issue I had with this one. Next, I'm going to take one of these frame stands and I'm going to break it in half. So just carefully snap it. And then on the sides, there's the two clips I'm just going to remove with my wire cutters. And I'm going to glue those to the back of the frame so that it stands up. If you decide to hang it, you can always use a sawtooth hanger. But this is how, how I did it this time around because I was just going to stand it up. And then I will be adding a wreath that I made <laughs> um, just using a Dollar Tree hook and Dollar Tree stuff. And then these frames are from Dollar Tree as well. I had tried spray painting them, but 
I didn't like how they came out so I just used that same bare white paint to paint them and I did attach them to the front of the faux window. So this one I really enjoyed making because I had an old ottoman that I just literally took apart, made a coffee table out of it. Didn't want to make, didn't want to waste any material, so I used the top of it. Um, it's just a piece of junky plywood. Um, it had a bunch of nails and splinters and all that, or staples. Um, just took all of those out, sanded it down as best as I could, but it was still a little rough around the edges, which is fine. I actually really liked that look. All right, so once it was all sanded down, I just used some regular house paint in white to paint the entire piece. And you guys will notice that I didn't do a really thick coat on it. It was just something where if there was like some of the wood peeking through, that was fine by me. And then I just took another piece of wood to frame around the edges. I didn't have any extra wood to make an actual frame, so I just did one with paint. And I did use some Dollar Tree chalkboard paint and just carefully did it all the way around. And then with my khaki craft smart paint, I did another frame <laughs> um, inside of that one. So again, if you do have extra wood laying around, um, or if I had extra wood laying around, I would have totally framed this, but I think it looks just fine. And then I actually did also sand down the edges and the corners just to make it look a little bit more distressed. And right here, I'm just basically um, tracing out some stuff to make my faux frame and I'm going to add some brad nails on here and then using some nylon rope from Dollar Tree I'm going to just thread it through all of the nails to make it into like a vase and then I can put some greenery in there. This one is super easy peasy. I'm just going to use a Dollar Tree hula hoop and then I found a huge garland at Goodwill for $2.99 and I always try to shop the clearance, not the clearance tags, but like the color tags that they have. Usually it's like half off. I don't think this one was half off, but either way, I got a big old piece. I don't think you would get that much garland from Dollar Tree um, for something like this. So I think it was a really good deal. I literally just painted the hula hoop white and then I I also added the wreath or I'm sorry the garland around the hula hoop with some floral wire and that is pretty much it. Here's another really easy one that you can change up to fit your style. So taking two of these Dollar Tree bowls, I found these in the wedding section. I'm going to take my hot tool and melt out the top or the bottom of one of the bowls. This is going to be the top. After that, I'm going to go ahead and take my sanding block and just sand it down a little bit so it's not rough on the edges. Glue the two tops together to create the bowl and then spray paint it with whatever color you want. I used a flat um, matte black spray paint and added some greenery.
This has actually been one of my favorite wreaths that I have made. Super simple using a Dollar Tree hula hoop and then also some Dollar Tree rope. When I made this, I actually ran out of rope and I think I only had three pieces. So I just wrapped as much rope as I could and then the piece that I didn't have enough rope for, I did add some um, burlap ribbon, which was fine because I'm going to put my greenery on it anyway. So you're not really going to be able to tell. Um, to distribute the weight evenly though, you might want to take out like the beads that are inside the hula hoop just so it's not like heavy on one side and not on the other. And then for the greenery, I did use some ferns from Dollar Tree as well as some more high-end flowers that I had from like Joann's and Michael's and stuff, but feel free to use Dollar Tree stuff if that's what you have. Again, here's another one that you guys can change up to whatever fits your style. So I bought these two dog bowls. Um, I think they're dog bowls. I'm pretty sure that's where I found them at Dollar Tree, like with the pet stuff. I spray painted them with some white spray paint, but it started raining on me and I had left these outside. So they actually got raindrops on them and the color did not come out how I wanted it to. So I just ended up using just some regular house paint to paint over it to kind of cover up the mistakes and then also you know like the raindrops <laughs> that was ridiculous so I just painted it all over on the bottom sides and then also on the inside of the top bowl and then taking my Amazon beads these are like larger beads I'm just going to glue those all around the edge and then glue the other bowl on top of that and after that just add whatever type of greenery I always like to, to use the greenery bundles from either Dollar Tree that are a dollar still at my Dollar Trees or stuff from um, Walmart which is actually 97 cents so depending on where you want to go or you know if you have other stuff you can use that too So this is another one of my favorites that I've made that I ended up gifting to someone uh, in my family. And so I'm going to take these little houses from Dollar Tree or like the little boxes. What do you guys call these? Frames? Boxes? Houses? <laughs> so I took two of them and I painted the inside. And then I'm sorry that the you can't really see much. The <laughs> camera view obviously is weird. This is like an older video. Um, but this is also a Dollar Tree sign that I'm painting white. So eventually I am going to glue all these three pieces together, but before I do that, I'm going to add one of these little greenery bundles from Dollar Tree onto the smaller houses. And I don't know if they have these or not. This was a few years ago and they were like with their spring stuff. Um, they're really pretty and they feel like really like high quality and I still have a bunch of them. So for the wording on here, I did just hand letter it. I did use my ruler to kind of help me keep it nice and straight. And then after I did it with my pencil, I went over it with a permanent marker. Okay, so I made this one before Dollar Tree came out with like their wooden rounds and like their 
all of their wooden stuff really so right there it's just some foam board that's stacked together I think it's like four pieces and it's four by four inches and then I'm also using some popsicle sticks to create my box I guess and these are actually jumbo um, craft sticks from Walmart and I will also be using some dowels these are from Walmart as well and so I'm only going to use one of them and I'm going to trace the dowel onto my board and I'm going to just cut a hole in there and glue the dowel right in there. That's going to be the stand and the base for my little ceramic pots. So once everything's cut out and then glued, I did use a pewter gray to stain my um, wood pieces and I just used the baby wipe to do that. So I didn't show you guys that but pewter gray is the color that I used. And these little pots are from Dollar Tree. I think those come in either a pack of four, three or four. Obviously I painted them. They're reused from a different DIY at this point and then I'm going to take some wire from Dollar Tree as well and just kind of attach it through the hole and around and attach it to the back and you know you can place them however you want I just kind of wanted to make like a stacked look and then added some greenery. Okay guys, I'm really struggling right now. I don't feel well <laughs> at all, but we got to get through this. So these little part pots are from Dollar Tree and so I did paint them black with a chalkboard paint and then I'm using some dark gray and with my paper towel just kind of tapping it on there I do want to create that like galvanized look or that galvanized effect um, after that gray I did go in there with some silver as well and you guys will see that I left the clay pot uh, exposed but I ended up painting that piece or that part as well um, one other thing that you can do to do the galvanized look is you can go in with the lighter colors first and then go in with the black afterwards. But I feel like using a paper towel or tissue works really great for this type of effect. For the tray, I am using some Dollar Tree foam board and as you guys can see here, I'm just tracing out two pieces. So I'm doubling it up. But the top piece, you guys saw that I traced like a little frame. So I'm just going to cut that around and it's going to give my tray some depth. So once I glue all of those together, I'm going to also add some popsicle sticks to make my wooden effect. And then I'm going to wrap it with some Dollar Tree rope. I was going to use um, chalkboard markers on this but it wasn't really working so I ended up using this chalkboard crayon from Dollar Tree.
for this one I'm using a Dollar Tree canvas and you guys will see here that I'm stapling the front of the canvas to the wooden uh, frame and then I am going to be hanging it with a sawtooth hanger so I'm just going to attach that on there. Then using my X-Acto knife, I'm going to cut out the rest of the canvas um, from the side and the back. And I removed all of the staples and using some caulk, I'm just going to go ahead and fill out or fill all those holes, sand it down, and then paint it. Anytime I hand letter or hand draw anything, I go in with pencil first and then markers. Uh, I am using some alcohol markers to do my leaves and stems. And then this is a design that I found on Pinterest. Um, I did make two of these and I think they look super cute. And they especially look great hanging outside, perfect for spring. Okay, so I love making faux trees, but this is more of like a life-size topiary. So I'm going to reuse the topiary that I made earlier. I'm just going to use a foam ball that already has the moss on it. I'm going to go ahead and make a, just a hole. The hole's already in there, but I'm going to make it bigger, add some hot glue, and then add a bamboo stick that I just kind of had laying around. And then using one of these large Dollar Tree pots, I do, did spray paint it. This is just textured spray paint. Um... Again, you guys can find all of my craft supplies in my description in my Amazon storefront. And then using a hula skirt from Dollar Tree, I'm going to take several strands and just make a bunch of braids that I'm going to glue around the pot. I did add some floral foam to the bottom of this and it's just one of those round flat ones. Hot glued it to the bottom and right here this is a piece of foam board that I cut to fit right inside of that pot and just attached that bamboo stick right through the center and glued that down. So this is a really cool trick or hack that you can use if you don't want to spend a bunch of money on filler like moss and all that. Um, all you have to do is just put the moss on top of that foam board and you're good to go. And then add your stems, whatever type you like. I think these are from Walmart. They could be from Dollar Tree or a mix of both. I love this squeeze the day tray. I feel like it's really bright and pretty. I did use one of these Dollar Tree frames. Um, I don't know that you'll be able to find these or not. Again, this was a while ago. I added some acetone to remove the lettering on there. And then I did trace out some foam board to the size of the, the glass. And again, hand lettering it. Just use whatever kind of font you want. You don't have to hand letter. You can use stickers or decals or whatever you please. And then, of course, I did not have any lemons, so I'm just using a cutie, and I added some bright yellow on there and just edited it onto the cutie and used it as a stencil. 
and you know you can draw your little lemons on there these little legs are just wooden blocks that I glued together and painted white and just attached them to the bottom after I put the foam board in there So this lemon tree was one of my favorites and I just used one of these Dollar Tree planters that I painted and then of course added my floral foam, my moss, and my greenery. And then I also took some Dollar Tree eggs. These are um, I think like foam eggs and I thought these were perfect because they had some texture to it so when you add your paint you're going to see like the texture so it actually kind of looks like a lemon um, and that is it. You're just going to go ahead and paint those and then attach everything with some floral tape and you're good to go. So last but not least, and something that could be totally versatile, you don't just have to put plants in there, you can use it for anything else. So using four of those Dollar Tree crates, or are these crates? Or boxes. <laughs> and then also some paint sticks. Those I bought through Amazon. Again, you can check out my storefront in the description. And so I'm just going to glue these on to the side of the crate and then staple them because I don't want these suckers to fall down on me I want to make sure they're nice and sturdy so I'm just gonna attach all three of them just you know to tear them up however you want and then I took one of those Dollar Tree plaques as well and added um, a piece of the paint sticks and attached it to the very top of my little tray here and then just decorate it however you want I use some spring stickers from Dollar Tree and then of course my florals Alright guys, so we have come to the end of the video once again. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So, I do have five videos that are already pre-filmed and I just have to edit and, you know, put my last finishing touches on it. I am trying to get a handful more that I can just have out. So everything that you guys are going to see in the next coming month or so, that's stuff that's already done. I've already worked on it. It's, <laughs> it's good to go. So as I'm talking right now, I'm thinking of ideas for a few more videos um, just because I want to have content out for you guys while I'm recovering from having the baby. Um, as of now, we are about four weeks away. So it's getting really, really close and I'm getting really, really tired. <laughs> um, uh, with that said, I would love for you guys to join me in those videos and I hope you guys do stick around if you hadn't subscribed already. I hope you do now. Um, and then if you did enjoy this video, make sure you guys leave those thumbs up. They truly help my channel out. I don't know why YouTube, I do my best. I, you know, I do my best with what I do. Um, but sometimes YouTube likes to not share my videos or notify you guys. So. I don't know what I have to do to have that done, but <laughs> anytime you guys leave your engagement or your love, it truly helps me out and I really, really appreciate it. So with that said, I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. Hand in hand, building castles out of sand, reaching for